Hello and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 13. In this tutorial we are going to cover creating the pixel shader, the remaining setup we have to do for our rasterizer, and for our output merger we actually won't have to change anything. When we had created our render target view we had called this OM set render targets. This is actually for the output merger and it's just setting where we're going to render to. So we can go ahead and mark that as completed. For our rasterizer, let's go ahead and get that set up because all we are doing is setting up our viewports. So if we go to our graphics CPP, right after we set our render targets, we can just put this and what we're doing is we're creating our viewport and we want to have the width and the height of our window for our viewport. And then for our device context, we are setting the viewport. The first argument is a number of viewports if you had multiple. And the second argument is just the pointer to our viewport. If you wanted something like split screen, you could have multiple viewports is one way you could do it. And then your geometry shader, I believe, would determine which viewport you draw to. We are not going to get into that, at least not anytime soon. So now our rasterizer, this is set up enough for what we need. So we need to make our pixel shader. So let's create a new resource file, new item. We are going to call this pixel, oh, what am I doing? Uh, it's going to be an HLSL file. I'm just going to call it pixel shader.hlsl. And our pixel shader is going to look like this. So the pixel shader uh, will receive a float for, and it's going, the semantic for is going to be the target. For now, uh, our pixel shader, all it does is just return the color of the pixel that we are rendering. We're just going to return white, which is one for our red, green, and blue values, and our alpha is going to be one. And later we will look into actually passing colors into uh, the pixel shader, but for now we are just going to do white. Since our input layout only contains our position data, we are not currently able to pass in a color. Alright, we need to set up the properties for our pixel shader, so right click and go to properties. Under HLSL compiler we're going to select shader model 5.0, and then for shader type we're going to select pixel shader. Let's make sure that this runs. Okay, it does. Let's go into our shaders header. And we're going to add a new class for our pixel shader. All right, we're going to have our initialize function. It really, this is going to work very similar to the vertex shader, but I just didn't want them to inherit from a shader class because there's you know, vertex shader uses create vertex shader, this uses create pixel shader, maybe later one day, but not right now. And then you'll see it uses the i3d11 pixel shader, uh, is an object type for the shader. Let's go ahead and create the definitions for this class. Let's go to the shader CPP. And it's pretty similar to what we had. We are just reading the file to the blob, storing that in the shader buffer. So this part's exactly the same. And then we are creating the pixel shader. We're not going to have an input layout uh, tied to the pixel shader. And all of that is pretty much the same, except it's with create pixel shader. And then down here we have the get shader and we have the get buffer. Back in our graphics CPP, we want to well, first we have to create the pixel shader object. So in our graphics header, we are going to create a pixel shader, called pixel shader. And then in our graphics CPP, we need to initialize it. So after we initialize our vertex shader, we're going to initialize our pixel shader. fails to initialize, we will return false. Let's test this out and make sure it runs. Alright, it does. So at this point, we 
have set up our rendering pipeline, and we are almost ready to draw something. In the next tutorial, we are going to create a buffer for our vertices, and we are going to draw a point, and then maybe two points, a line, a triangle, something like that. But for now, this is all that we are going to cover for this tutorial.